we're sorry. I and mean, what else can we say? We're really sorry. The long-awaited and state-of-the-art Minoru Aquatic Center was supposed to open in March. But just before that happened, the city got some bad news. It started with some signs of leakage, and of course that was evident through water loss. And from there, they took another look and realized there were some cracks starting to appear. Those cracks turned out to be a major problem with the lap pool. So they drained it and ripped it up to investigate. Well, right now it's a mess uh, because there's been a lot of work going on to try and identify what the problem really is. Earlier this year, the city was blaming ground shifting, with Richmond being notorious for it. The sediments are young and they've got a lot of water in them. So if you put a building on it, those sediments will compact and the water will come out. So that's just a normal geologic process, but it causes damage to the building. Now the city isn't so sure. Adams says it could be in the design, construction or any number of factors. What we have said to people is once we know what the problem is, we will start fixing it and we will get this thing open. Answers about the cause will have to wait for the report from multiple insurance investigators. The city expects it in the next few weeks, but fixing the problems could take a lot longer than that. It's as disappointing and frustrating to us not to have it. It's quite a jewel in the sense of, of its design and its approach and the, the type of fitness and services that it, it offers. In the meantime, residents who were hoping for a new shiny pool are stuck using the aging original one until further notice. Some good news, whatever the timeline, Adam says he expects the $80 million project to remain on budget. Mickey Cowan, CBC News, Richmond.